guide. And this one of the reasons why we need to thank Allah as the most Allah has given us a The founder of Alal Arts Gallery, a seasoned artist. With one Oshinawa has displayed the beauties of Islam true art at the one day salon Islamic art exhibition in Lagos State. At the art exhibition, which held on Sunday, December 3rd at the Radisson Hotel Ikeja, was the theme Alhamdulillah, the art of appreciation, saw so his numerous artwork which have been embraced far and wide by the Muslim community in Nigeria. I tell you, you will you deny? Fabi, I am dying. So, I have to say, it's a trust my man. It's just a way of showing, uh, speak of what I has done in your life. Dignitaries, which include the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, R.T. Honorable Mudashir Obasa, Vice President one of the Muslim Umar of Southwest Nigeria, Muswen Al Aji Rafiu Ebiti, Rector. Yaba College of Technology, Dr. Ibrahim Adidotu, amongst others, applauded the artist for promoting Islamic arts. In his words, the convener and founder Alal Art Gallery, Ridwan Oshinawa, explained the rationale behind the theme Art of Appreciation, urging Muslims not to take artwork with Quranic verses as a protective object. I believe some people they don't really appreciate what they say. When it comes to saying Alhamdulillah, <clears throat> I actually want them to cut me here and see what I've been able to illustrate. How I've been able to use the calligraphy Alhamdulillah, how I've been able to illustrate and then combine colors together. Seeing all these things, definitely one will now realize uh, the reason why they have to say Alhamdulillah. It's been deliberate too, because when you see something that is beautiful, of course you want to appreciate Allah and want to thank Allah for it. Uh, our next move, or let me say the next move is now to have a very big place of house now because where we have now is not, it's not as big as what we have in mind to be uh, inshallah by this by before the end of this before the end of this year next year we'll be happy to thank allah that at least we're able to have a better bigger device because looking at length and breadth of lagos today even in nigeria there's no way you can get any islamic gallery i'm not talking about islamic shops or islamic whatever now we're talking about islamic where we can see any paintings professional ones like we have quite a lot of conventional gallery around Ikoi, VI, mention them. So we have a lot of them, but we don't have the Islamic one. But Alana Gallery is now there. We have come now to really, uh, to really establish it. People have been, they have been so passionate about it. And they want to believe that if you have a calligraphy like Aita Kosi, it will protect you. No, it's never like that. All these things are just to remind you of Allah. If you see any calligraphy that talks about, um, uh, Fabia, Yalla, Hira, we could tell you that. I just want, want, want you to really reason, to, to think deep. The, they, they, to me, they are just nausea. So I call it visual nausea. The kind of uh, visual, nausea that you will see visually that will appreciate Allah. And you from there, you draw some inspiration. You draw, I mean, it will talk to you. You, you, you will feel remorse when you Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala talks. Well, if I put up any calligraphy, that has to do with uh, warning. Or a kind of joy. I mean, but then you see what I lost. What I, what I do, I illustrate such content or whatever. I mean, you'll be happy when you see we are actually talk about happiness and we are talking talk about. Mm, I will deal with you. <laughs> In fact, the, the kind of colors I will use for you, 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 you feel fr frightening. So the way I illustrate, no, this is it. All these calligraphies are meant, and they, they are not. They are not meant to be kind of um, uh, protect you, or whatever. Mm, they are just mere calligraphy to appreciate. And to really, to, to really, to, to talk to you. The Speaker of the Lega State House of Assembly, R.T. Honorable Modashir Obrasa, represented by Senior Special Assistant on Islamic Affairs, Lawal Ridwan, described one Islamic as exhibition as novel one. It's, um, it's a novel. Uh, this is my first time I'm, I'm experiencing something like this, and that's why the Speaker asked me to represent him here. So um, it's, it's quite an, an exposure. It, um, it tells one about the rich heritage of Islamic arts. And um, the, the exhibitor now, the Al Hajj um, Ridwan um, or Shinna, well, it, um, it's, been, it's been a household name for a while. But this is first time I'm actually seeing his works, and actually they are quite, quite commendable. And it's nice, really. That's it. Well, it's, it's unique and uh, beautiful also at the same time. I've been attending several artworks, you know. Uh, exhibitions are focusing different perception of the of the artist, and this is another very important perception 
and I, I can see that all the works here are very beautiful and very attractive. And it, it, it's a signature, you can see the signature of Yaba College of Technology here. The artist himself is a product of Yaba College of Tech and we are proud of him. Just as we are proud of all our artists and all our products all over the world, we know they are always radiating everywhere and uh, we are proud of them and we keep to be. While commending the arts work, the Vice President one of Muswen Rafiu Ebizi expressed optimism about Islamic arts, calling on individuals and groups to patronize his work. To create more awareness of what Islam is all about, number one, and then to showcase the limitless possibilities that Allah has offered us in terms of artworks, in terms of creativity, and in terms of investment opportunities and cooperation. This, this exhibition is different from the normal art exhibition because it's Islamic art exhibition that goes into different you know, different stratas, different, you know, categories. We have calligraphy, we have um, the reworks. In Islam, we cannot show pictures, or we can show writings, we can show quotations from the Quran to inspire and also to motivate us. Government has um, institutions that promote arts and culture. So they're already doing the little bit they can. But we, we are trying to look at the creativity, the commercialization of artworks. There are artworks now that we can create a market for that some of these earlier artists have produced. So we can develop a market, especially online, showcase what is available, and it can trade, it can be traded. People spend millions abroad to buy artworks, so why can't we do the same here? It's temporary, it's unique, and it's one of the best ex uh, exhibitions I've witnessed recently. All the artworks is marvelous, and you will not think they are produced locally. As I said somewhere else, when you see you have calligraphy, you think of Turkey, you think of Malaysia, you think of uh, Dubai, you think of Abu Dhabi. But this is made in Nigeria. It makes so proud that we have highly talented person like Ludwan of Sinawa. All actually support all incoming artists, especially in this field of artwork. It's an inspiration for anybody to undertake this type of assignment. And the reward is from Allah himself. It is my view that any artist that goes this way will not go astray. And God will elevate him or her. While this one day salo an Islamic art exhibition of calligraphy work of art, Oshina one knows that the artwork are meant to inspire you to think and appreciate Allah appealing to public office holders and Muslim stakeholders to embrace such artwork and adorn their public places with them.